Hey guys, Kitchen is having bought the GM Twins and today we are making something very delicious mini chocolate cookie bar because there's a lot of mini stuff going on trending on social media I decided to make mine as well so the ingredient needed are eggs yeah beaded eggs sugar cocoa powder Yeah, the chocolate chips any size. Yours could be smaller than that. Yeah, but my is bigger. So vanilla extract is needed as well. And the flour. Very essential. So over there we have like a baking powder, salt and so many other things then the butter is needed so let's see how all this comes together step by step and don't forget to wash your hands before doing this so that is two cups of flour in a sieve and before we sieve it add a pinch of salt And one teaspoon of baking powder not baking soda baking powder it's quite different yeah so after this mix it together and sieve it yeah this is so important for a better beginning as I always say so sieve it out sieve it out yeah so that's the sieved flour so hard half cup of cocoa powder yeah that is half cup of cocoa powder we hard it then we mix it together this is the next step we mix it together the spoon and there's a lot of brown everywhere cocoa powder yeah brown color so keep on mixing so after that are the chocolate chips yeah and you can Add this after mixing in the wet mixture, but I'm adding it before mixing the wet mixture, and I'm gonna tell you how to go about this later. So mix that together as well. So let's put that aside. Then you can also use the bowl. We are the chocolate chip was powdered form, yeah. So in that bowl, you hold the half cup of butter. That is half cup of butter. Hold it to the bowl. Just half cup of butter. So in that bowl, there's one over three brown sugar and one over three white sugar. It's close to half cup of sugar, but no, it's just one over three, like a one spoon away from half cup of uh, sugar. Just one over three brown sugar, one over three white sugar. So hard that and mix it. Very important, mix it.
So let's mix the ready then hard. Two hex beaded eggs with plus two spoon of egg. Yeah, like there's two egg and you see I have two spoon. So put that two spoon aside. But if you are hardened the chocolate chips after mixing the wet mixture with the dry mixture, then you just need two eggs. It might not even be up to two eggs, but if you added the chocolate chips in the flour before adding the wet mixture, then you need two eggs plus two spoonful of egg, like two full egg plus two spoonful of egg. Yeah, beaten egg. Yeah, beaten egg. So you have to beat it then hard two spoon of a beaten egg. Yeah. So don't forget what I said. If you are then the wet mixture plus the dry mixture together before adding the chocolate chips, then you just need two eggs. But if you are adding the chocolate chips before adding the wet mixture, then you will need two eggs plus two spoonful of beaten eggs. So don't forget that. So we're gonna heart that in. The flour mixture, yeah? Just like that. Everything is coming together at this point and I'm super, super loving it. I hope you guys are enjoying this video as well. And if you are, don't forget to like and subscribe. And click on the notification bell. Thank you. So at first, mix it with a spoon, then later knead with your hands. Yeah. So now I'm kneading with my ends. So knead it with your beautiful ends. Like I'm doing, yeah. It takes time for this to come together because I added the chocolate chips before adding the wet mixture, so you just have to be patient about it. So try to press it together, bring it together as one so if your feet is not coming together remember the two spoonful beaten egg kept aside are it yeah but if you see yours comes together easily then you do not need to hard this so you just have to like study everything like I uh, let's say baking is an art well you have to study yes so if it's not needed to hard the two spoonful then knead it together without hardening it yeah so just make sure it's not sticky, yeah, just make sure it is not sticky, yeah. So bring it together. So after kneading, wrap in a plastic bag and refrigerate for 15 minutes, yeah, just 15 minutes. So important. So after kneading it together. Wrap into a plastic bag and refrigerate for 15 minutes. There we go. So after 15 minutes, 
put it on a flat surface, yeah. Just like that, it looks just like that, yeah. And knit it with a rolling pin. I mean, roll it with a rolling pin, yeah. So if your dough isn't sticky, then this will be easy for you to do. So just ensure your dough isn't sticky from the beginning, yeah. So after that, cut it into tiny sizes, just like this, because it's like a mini chocolate bar, yeah. Just like they cut it, just like this. With a sharp kitchen knife, it's so important. The knife must be sharp. So here we go. So bake for 7 to 10 minutes, so within 7 to 10 minutes preheat the oven for about 2 minutes, yeah, preheat the oven for 2 minutes, then bake for 7 to 10 minutes, yeah, so lay it out on a baking tray, it looks just like this, on a baking tray, yeah, it's just like this, yeah, it's done, as usual we did it, so this is how it looks like when it's done, so let us check out the beautiful picture. Got in and stay tuned. Yeah, food photography. So this is the day after it was needed. And when we cut into smaller sizes, mini sizes. Yeah. Yeah, and you can eat it with milk, yeah, like you prefer drink or with uh you can enjoy yours yeah so don't forget to share with your family and those around you yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the notification bell have an awful day guys it's the GM twins bye